And I'm admitting I like how it's turning out. It's turning out bad. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Part of that is due to lack of policing, but most of that's due to local policy. I've got a seven-year degree. Guess what I majored in? What do you major in? Guess what I do? Part time. What do you major in? What do you do? United States Navy, Lieutenant Commander, Jack, Attorney. Cool. You should become an attorney. You're a smart kid. Our best. You do. I dislike our legal system. Can't you're start. right, but guess what? Guess what? What? Being in the Navy, you. I'm not. You know what Jack is on TV? I'm one of those. Nice, Jack. Nice. And I can arrest somebody in all parts of the world. Cool. And I'm telling you, when I come home to Everett, I spit and jump up and down. And, oh, God. I talked to the police chief about this, and he hasn't done what I suggested. I'd be a captain on the reserves. And, I'd, and they, they wouldn't be going to this not dead stuff anymore. They go to jail for a shooting. Okay, but she called shooting someone for... No, no, I mean, what I'm letting you know is shoot him with a taser where it counts. There's an officer like this, a rookie. I had to, I pulled in and helped him. I took his gun away. He knew who it was. I took his gun away. He's doing this. Guess what he's doing now? We're at Walmart. I got him fired. You don't do this with a life. Glock pistol. No way in hell. He was shaking. Hit him. I had handcuffed his. He said he ran a pedestrian over. A pedestrian died. I wasn't going to let that. I just, oh God. That kid was 22 years old. Shouldn't have been on the streets, period. He's shaking his Glock. I was afraid he was going to drop it and shoot somebody. You know, it hits the ground. Those plastic Glocks are garbage. We use 45s. You really put the polymer on the lock is more just than the metal, right? They're garbage guns. You I, live, I live in North Dakota. You know what I do in North Dakota? I live in North Dakota part-time. I've got oil wells. You know what they do in North Dakota? Take a shotgun and shoot the son of a bitch. They kill them. Yeah. The cops so kill them. Let's advocate for murder. This, That's a good idea. No, it is. Thank you. Yeah, if someone disagrees with you, or someone disagrees with law enforcement, you shoot them. Things are different in Montana and North Dakota. Have you visited there lately? I have visited a lot of the Midwest, including states like Texas, Wisconsin. I would not want to tell you where the Texas Rangers. You know what? Not even me. They do stuff there. Yeah, but one of the first and most important things to individuals is the right to privacy. We'll get, if we want to talk about that as an argument. For example, let, let's say we'll use the term auditors. Let's say someone was going to Second Amendment audit. He's walking down the street, we have an open carry state here, he's wearing uh, an AR-15 and a bulletproof bullet case. What do you think should happen? And then also the burger itself comes with pregnant monthly children. I'm not going to argue with you. Why? Was you're at the teeter totter age. What do you North Dakota right now, if you're under 30, you don't get high rates. So we're not talking about North Dakota, we're talking about Washington, because we live in Washington. I'm just trying, just trying to, I'm trying to get more from your political view, trying to understand kind of where you stand on things. If you see a person, let's say, walking down the street with an AR-15 and plates... I would tackle them, handcuff them, and take them to the brig. Why? Maybe. We're in an open carry state. It's not illegal. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You don't mind if we'll carry it. Okay, so just because something you, something you deem is illegal is illegal, even if it's not illegal, you would... What's he, why is he carrying that? Is it in a case? No. Or a whole, it's no. Or in it's my eyes, it's illegal to even own that gun. Why? Because it, it's a federal law if you check. No, it's not. See, you're, you're like the rest of these bought and paid for sons of God. Our conversation... I work for a gun ranch. Which one? Yes. I wouldn't go there if they paid me. Uh, you probably shouldn't go anywhere with your mental capability. Guess what? Huh. That's not. This, this is over. You can dodge the conversation if you want. As long as I ain't here, I'm ready to talk. I haven't heard that in way. Where do you work again? I'm a carpenter. Are you good? I'm not that late at all. Why? You know, I glitch. I got this windstorm. I was gone. I noticed I got a wood shake roof and some shakes flew off. Aren't 
give you the job. You would like to argue with me, that's pretty good. I commend you for it. I think it's very healthy for people to have debates, even if they disagree with each other's opinion. I like that. Okay, you know why you like this? You know who Henry Scoop Jackson was? Senator Jackson? Not familiar. State of Washington's best senator. Guess who worked for him when he was 15? Me. Huh. Guess who got to drive when he was 15? Me. How in the hell did I pull that one off? I had learned from it. He said, you're going to have your driver's license in three days if you work for him. I was his personal. He was grooming me to be state senator. And guess what? I would be state senator in the state to pay me millions of dollars. 